Hi, I'm Lisa Bloom for AVO.com. Gay rights law has changed a lot in the last decade or so. We've seen big changes in the area of employment discrimination, uh, getting rid of the Defense of Marriage Act, getting rid of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and gay marriage is now legal in over a dozen states, a number that keeps growing. So what's the latest battleground? Well, it may surprise you. It's the issue of gay jurors. Should people be excluded from juries on account of their sexual orientation? Here's the history of the issue. In 1986, in a case called Batson, Batson versus Kentucky, the U.S. Supreme Court held that it was wrong to strike jurors on account of their race, that it was unconstitutional for lawyers during jury selection to get rid of potential jurors, mainly because they were African American. And the Supreme Court said in that case that if challenged, the lawyer who was doing those strikes had to come forth with a legitimate, non-discriminatory reason for striking that juror. Perhaps that person seemed biased in some way. As a practical matter, by the way, most of the time the judges do find that in light of a Batson challenge, jurors uh, do have a non-discriminatory reason for getting stricken, and the lawyer gets to keep them on the jury. But Batson was an important holding, saying no discrimination on account of race in jury selection. Ten years later, in a case called JEB versus Alabama, the Supreme Court extended that ruling to gender, saying that jurors could not be stricken on account of their gender. Lawyers can't express a preference for female jurors or for male jurors. There has to be a legitimate, non-discriminatory reason if they're striking jurors based on gender. Well, now the issue comes sexual orientation. In a federal antitrust case that's going on between two giant drug companies, one is accusing the other of striking a juror on account of his sexual orientation during jury selection. And in that case, the gay community in general, and this juror in particular, was aware of high prices on an HIV drug. And arguably, that's why the drug company struck him from the jury. So wouldn't the... the Basic issues of fairness apply in this case as well. Well, that's what's being argued before a federal court of appeals uh, court. That's called the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. And this may go up to the U.S. Supreme Court as well. Isn't it wrong to strike people based on a fundamental characteristic like sexual orientation? Isn't that the same as race or gender? There is one difference, though, that one of the judges pointed out, and that's the issue of privacy. One judge was concerned that identifying gay jurors might out them when they're trying to keep their sexual orientation private. And sometimes people may not know if someone's gay or not. They may jump to a conclusion, and they could be wrong about that. So this is an issue that's winding its way up through the courts. I see it as an important issue for gay rights. I think it will probably follow in the footsteps of the race and the gender decision, but stay tuned and we'll see how it turns out. I'm Lisa Bloom for AVO.com.